Hello everybody and welcome to day six of the January challenge. This is Andy Roberts for the songwritercircle.co.uk and we've had five days of intense exercises uh, encouraging creativity, playfully messing about and encouraged looking at different ways to get the lyrics going. We've had a stream of consciousness, um, haiku, uh, jot down 12 quick song ideas and then narrow them down, stuff like that. Ways of looking at getting into the habit of regularly generating lyric ideas and generating lyrics. And it's been good because people have been, um, some people have uh, appreciated the exercises, found that they've helped to unblock uh, a bit of writing. Some people have shared what they've done, completely unembarrassed. Either in the Facebook group, the Songwriter Circle, or on the website songwriterscircle.co.uk where you can have your own blog and put your stuff in. And any of those techniques that have been taught so far, you can continue doing if you want to, as and when you need to generate more lyric ideas and more lyrics. And there'll be a few more interesting ideas for generating lyrics as we go on through the 30 days of January. But today, at last, finally, we get to look at um, music. So it's the first day where we include music in the exercise. In fact, entirely. Uh, so, you may know the story that uh, the well-known song yesterday that when uh, Paul McCartney originally wrote it, he just had the tune, and for the sake of something to sing to illustrate the tune, he used the phrase scrambled eggs. So it's scrambled eggs. Just that, scrambled eggs. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a simple phrase, or a bit more, um, like scrambled eggs. You can base it, if you like, on whatever you had for breakfast, whatever you like for breakfast. Just think of a breakfast item and sing it. And the idea is to not have to think about the words at all, but just think about the tune, but get a tune that, that can be sung. So something like scrambled eggs but fried eggs on toast or uh, coffee and a croissant for our Canadian members pancakes I've got to get that tune out of my head now um, so there's two two basic approaches that I sometimes use for making up a tune well, actually, it's more complex than that. Eventually, what you do is you write the lyrics with the tune in mind and the tune with the lyrics in mind and the chords with the melody in them. And it all sort of comes together in a, a relationship kind of way. But you can look at it as where do you start? Do you start with the chords or do you start with the melody? So you could start with 
a simple chord progression if you play an instrument that has chords like a guitar or a piano. So I'll take a basic um, chords, very popular chord progression. Sunny side up, eggs are very easy. Sunny side up, my eggs over easy. Over easy, over easy. Oh, sunny side. Repeat over and over until it solidifies, until it, it, it's, a, it's a tune that you like, that you want to go with. Now, that's one way, that's the starting with the chords way. And another way is to start with the melody. So just pick out the tune. So to do that, just ch choose one or two strings on the guitar or if you've got a piano, it's one finger, pick out a tune. Or if you've got uh, something that only plays one note at a time, like a penny whistle or a recorder, and then think of your beans on toast. <coughs> and pick out a tune. Beans on beans on toast. See what I mean about one note at a time? If you're doing it on a guitar, it'd be something like this. And just keep picking until you've got special tune, the one that is going to be worth writing some words to, but don't write the words for now, just stick with your beans on toast, um, sausage and bacon, whatever. Sausage and bacon. Try some unusual intervals, maybe. How about... That's an unusual one. That's an interval you don't often get. It's a sixth or something. Seven semitones. Sausage. Bacon.
One string. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. Generate just the melody line. using the strength scrambled eggs method. And then once you've got it, you're gonna keep playing it over and over again so that you remember it in the short term. And for the longer term, you're gonna have to find some way of recording it, some way of jotting it down. Now, if you can write music, well done. You know how to write those little dots and circles, crotchets, minims, semi-braves, quavers, demi, semi, quavers, and uh, you know where to put them on the five lines, every good boy deserves favour, and in between with the flats and the sharps and all that, then you can write your tune down in musical notation, and any time you want you can come back five years later, look at that, and that's the tune, you'll know the tune, and you can write the words to it then in five years time. Uh, if you're not musically literate, and that goes for me, as well, join the club, then you're going to have to record the audio somehow. And uh, if you haven't worked out how to do that yet, then have a go. You don't, you don't need to get it onto a computer necessarily for this, but just, just to record uh, your tune. So I'm sure you've got some means of recording audio. In the old days, everybody had a cassette player and they had a built-in microphone. You just press the red button together with the play and it would record. Um, people used to dictate uh, letters for typing, so there was little portable dictaphones all over the place that you could use. Uh, you might have a camera with a video setting. If you've got a camera with a video setting, just point the camera at the wall, press record and and sing or hum your song into the camera and you can play it play back the video you can hear the song so you can use a a stills camera with a video setting or a camcorder as your audio recording device the most likely one that most of you will have i would have thought is a computer you're all here uh, because you're on facebook basically if you're on Facebook, you might be reading it on an iPod Touch or something like that, but probably you're looking at it on a computer. Uh, if it's a computer in a library, then not quite so good. But if it's your own computer or a borrowed one, you can plug a microphone into it or it might have a microphone built in and just record direct to the, to the hard disk using the, the simplest um, recording program that's on the computer like sound recorder or audio edit or um, or you could be connected to the internet and you can record it directly into uh, YouTube or SoundCloud or Audio Boo something like that if you've got a phone you could find a, a sort of answer machine type service where you could hum your tune into your phone, dial the number, hum the, hum the tune into the phone and then dial another number to get it back or something. There's, there's endless ways. I'm sure nobody should really be stuck for a way of recording sound just enough. Not great quality, not good enough for broadcast or for, for demoing even perhaps, but good enough to jog your memory, to remind you of that brilliant tune that you thought up. Because if you're anything like me, I, I, I find it fairly easy to think up tunes, but they just they just go away again. Um, unless I've actually got to the point where I've written the words and it's coalesced into a song that I've practiced and rehearsed and then recorded, so it's there forever. But un until I've got it into a song with words and things, all the ideas for tunes that I get when I'm just mucking about improvising, they, they're just, for the moment, they're just very temporary. Uh, you know they're great whilst it's happening and then they're never going to happen again um, and that's a shame in some ways because if you recorded everything that you did including all the rubbish when you know that you did do something really good just 20 minutes ago before it went off into a load of other stuff again you could just you know rewind back 20 minutes and listen to that 
inspired piece that you did 20 minutes ago and, and, and play it again and build on it and not lose it. So think about finding ways to record musical ideas and uh, get them kept down. Anyway, I've been going on far too long. Uh, just to recap, day six, introducing music, no lyrics, take a phrase like scrambled eggs, some other uh, breakfast constituent, and compose, make up a tune for the random words, for the, for the made up phrase. Make up a good tune so that you can then write the lyrics to it later. Just worrying about the tune using any old words so that it's a singable tune. And then keep repeating the tune until it's settled down and then record it or, or um, write it down if you can so that you've got that tune and you can go back to it later. This has been Andy Roberts for the songwritercircle.co.uk January challenge. Day six of the challenge. <laughs> Just one more day to go for the first week and then there's a little rest. So well done to everybody who's got as far as day six. Keep it up if you're finding it useful. Tell all your friends. If you've got any problems, tell me. And I'll see you in the next video, which is probably tomorrow. Bye for now.